This is Divine Harmony with the Cosmic Insight for the week of February 10th through February 16th. The week starts off with a Sun square Saturn exact on Tuesday. This is actually a theme that lasts all week because we have a full moon in the middle of the week and the full moon will be also square to Saturn. Saturn is the planet of reality, karma, limitation, and restriction. When there's a square from Saturn, we're being challenged to look at stuff that we may not want to look at. With the Sun in Aquarius, avant-garde, eccentric, and very unbounded, square to Saturn, the planet of boundaries and limits, we can feel this push-pull between the part of us that wants to just go for it, be free, have freedom, liberation, and the part of us that has expectations, obligations, and commitments that we need to address. This push-pull between freedom and connection, freedom and limitation, can be palpably felt throughout the week. And addressing it is really important because if we're ignoring it, it's gonna come up at the full moon. On Wednesday, Mercury, who's currently retrograde and who stationed retrograde in Pisces last week, backtracks into Aquarius, shifting from watery, emotional, intuitive Pisces to airy, detached, intellectual Aquarius. Remember, Mercury retrograde is a time to rethink, review, revise, and now Mercury shifting into a different sign, we're rethinking and reviewing and revising our ideas, our needs for freedom, where we balk at structure or limitation or restriction, and really addressing what we need to break out and break free in our lives. On Friday, we have the full moon in Leo. This is the midway point of the current lunar cycle we are in. We have the Sun in Aquarius, conjunct Mercury in Aquarius, opposite the full moon in Leo, and all of these are square to Saturn in Scorpio. And so this is a very Saturnine full moon. With Leo in Aquarius, it's the energy of the individual and then the collective, the energy of me and what I want and need and desire, and then how I connect and collaborate with others. With Saturn squaring it, there can be issues that crop up in friendships and in relationships and in that balance of self and other. We need to address where things are out of balance and then deal with it. If we are isolating ourselves and not connecting with people, then perhaps this full moon is a reminder of, hey, you know, you're not an island and you need to get out there and remember that there is a humanity beyond yourself. But alternatively, on the other side, if we are overly connecting with other people and losing sight of ourselves and our own needs and desires and our own gifts and giving our time to everybody else but not to ourselves, this full moon can be a reminder of, hey, you know, back off, take some time, be alone. It's okay to be alone for a while. The week ends with the Sun conjunct Mercury on Saturday and Mercury trine Mars on Sunday. Sun Mercury is the middle of the Mercury retrograde cycle and it often coincides with aha moments, bolt out of the blue awarenesses, insights coming in, light bulbs turning on. And then Mercury trine Mars is a time of taking action, being forthright, communicating. Now we do need to keep in mind Mercury's retrograde, so action that needed to be taken is wonderful when taken when Mercury's retrograde, but if it's new action, you may just want to plan it out, figure out what needs to happen, and then wait till Mercury is direct to then put it into effect. So it depends on what you're addressing and dealing with. Again, where Mercury is retrograde will change, you know, be different for everybody. So depending upon your chart, uh, you'll have different areas of life that are up for review. So check the weekly horoscopes on my website to see where it is in your chart. Yours in the stars.